Oh. Hello, this is Michelle Knight. This is the astrological update for Cancer for the whole of March. Now, the main focus this month for you is on your career, and it's all a bit up and down and flying around, but ultimately, there is some great treasure to be unearthed for you connected to your career. Now, it starts off with Mercury on the second going into your 10th house of career, so you're communicating really well, you're talking more confidently, you have an air about you of fabulousness, and other people are like, yeah, of course, you really make sense. So even if you're not in a job, you'd be great at job interviews, you've got that power and strength and you're feeling great. And if you're in a job, your ideas are flowing like nectar off your tongue. But bear in mind that Mercury, the planet of communication, is going retrograde in that 10th house on the 12th. So anything you want to get done or anything you want to say, try to say it before the 12th. Now we have Venus in the 10th opposite Saturn retro in the 4th on the 4th. So there's a part of you that may feel a little bit torn between family and work but the work thing does sort of take over and you know just you know make sure you give the people around you a lot of love even though you may be working hard or your mind is focused on your career and anyway let's face it it's not like you is it normally you're very focused on your emotions you're very focused on the people around you if you yourself are not focused on career it could be that somebody in your life is having a lot of career issues and you're there standing up and looking after them in some way now we have a full moon on the 8th and that's in your third house of communication so it really is all about communicating and speaking your mind and you may feel when that full moon comes there's something i've got to say there's something i've got to say and obviously the moon is your ruler so it has a much more powerful impact on you than anyone else but try and come from your heart and your soul and speak from love and don't try not to rush it or blur anything out good news is it is before the 12th so there's still time to sort of offload your communication in a positive and inspirational way. We have Venus and Jupiter in the 11th, trying Pluto in the 7th on the 13th. So there is some great, fabulous transformation and a transformation of a friendship, a transformation of a relationship. Something is happening and life will never be the same again. But because Jupiter's involved, planet good fortune, it should be good. But it's very spontaneous and possibly unpredictable, but ultimately very satisfying. We have a new moon in your 10th house, conjunct Mercury and Uranus. So uh, around that time on the 22nd, that's when your new start begins and you feel that this is it. I really am stepping out into the world in a new way when it comes to my career. You're feeling spontaneous, something could just drop out of the sky and help you in some way where it came to your career and you're feeling good about you. All in all, this is a month where you are confident, you are dazzling, you are glowing, believe in you, know that you can do it. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.